My family, William has always been envious and jealous of Prince Harry. Always. And that jealousy began at a very, very young age. And my family, we have UK tablets pitting Harry against William. William against Harry. The air passes the spare. My family, that relationship was doomed from the start. It was doomed from the start. And uh, my family, first of all, let me show you an example of Prince William. How my family, he was as a child. Just one example, my family. Please kindly look at this. At first, William does not want the bunny, my family. But then when it's given to Prince Harry by his mother, then William says, can I hold him? Can I hold him? At first, William is given the bunny. Does not want it until it's given to Prince Harry. Then he wants it. Can I hold him? Can I hold him? Can I hold him? My family, that is just one example of my family ever since William was young. Whatever Harry has, William will always want. Even if William did not want it at first, if Harry has it, then William will want it. My family, we see that happening even to this day. My family, Harry and Meghan, they live in America. They live in Montecito with their kids Archie and Lilibet Diana. My family, in Harry's memoir spare, we have learned how William was full of so much, you know, anti-American sentiment when it came to Megan being an American citizen. And then, all of a sudden, years later, now that Harry and Megan have fled to the US, we are told by a carnival of so-called experts who speak on behalf of William that all of a sudden, now William believes that you must have America on side if you want to achieve anything whether it's charity attention money you must have america on side years later my family now that harry and Meghan live in the u.s and my family clearly that behavior it continues to this day william even though he never ever cared much for America at first. All of a sudden, now he cares. Now that Harry and Meghan live in America, live in the United States of America. And my family, why am I saying this stuff to my family? My family, someone online called Mary posted an article from back in 2005, you know, Daily Telegraph, 5th February of 2005. Daily Telegraph, 5th February 2005. So my family said this. Here is the headline. Wills takes it easy. Allow me to read you this story, my family. With attention focused on his brother, Prince William has been able to pursue his final year at St. Andrews University in relative peace and quiet with attention focused on Harry. The question that is now looming in Cotier's wing mirrors, though, 
is what what on earth our future king who will turn to the three in june is going to do with himself afterwards everyone always assumed that he would go straight to sandhurst and that that would be that i'm told the truth is though that he doesn't want to be there as a junior to his brother and since harry does not start until this spring that means he is going to have a spare year on his hands he's also made it quite clear that he doesn't want to do official engagements in the meantime <laughs> my family some things about william it never ever changes my family some things about william never ever changes my family the guy has always been lazy ever since a very young age my family which continues even to this day <laughs> some things just never ever change my family my family i want to focus on this part whereby prince william did not want to join you know military academy to train my family at sandhurst or because my family at first he did not want to be there as a junior to his brother william the heir did not want to be there as a junior to his brother prince harry that's what william did not want and my family this jealousy that william has had for a very long time you know basically this language that is constantly being used it's always william who is envious of harry it's william who doesn't want to go to sandhurst because you know what he doesn't want to be a junior to prince harry it is always prince william who my family clearly is the one who my family always wants harry to be the one who is beneath him under him for harry to show deference to him that's what william has always wanted he never wanted to be seen as prince harry's in subordinate family never as harry's junior he never ever wanted that my family time and time again with this rhetoric constantly being used it's william who is envious of prince harry time and time again my family also basically hear this clip because my family also i want to show that the media knew exactly what was happening they knew of william's jealousy towards prince harry they knew of william's jealousy towards harry and my family they used that to their advantage my family my family please kindly hear this please my family please kindly hear this please that policy of making harry feel important sometimes upset william he began to see harry as a rival especially on skis yeah, there was a lot, lot of jealousy i think at one stage william stomped off in a tantrum because he wasn't feeling well he had flu and there was harry doing really well on, on his skis and william kept falling over so he just stomped off my family once again you've heard that and you've heard that from carnival of so called expert called ingrid seward that's her name my family clearly they knew of william's jealousy towards harry from such a young age they knew of the fact that william has always been envious and jealous of harry they knew that and my family they played that and they used that to their advantage they used that to their advantage in putting harry 
against William. William against Prince Harry. And my family, we have seen well, my family, what that has led to. We have seen what that has led to. I mean, my family, Harry's language is always one of, you know, healing the rift, reconciling my family. He says, if we have done anything wrong, we are willing to say sorry. We are willing to apologize. But whenever I have asked what we have done wrong, we've never ever gotten an answer. Because Harry, you have never ever done anything wrong. It's always been William's envy towards you. And my family, role experts have said, when it came to this rift between Harry and William, the problem mainly has always been between Harry and William. And my family, basically, sadly, Megan was the person who my family basically suffered because of William's jealousy towards Prince Harry. Because William went after the person that Harry loves. And he keeps going after the person that Harry is in love with, the mother of his kids. He keeps going after Megan. Time and time again. Time and time again. And my family, to be quite honest with all of you, I just don't see how Harry and William can possibly ever mend or heal this rift between them both. Why? Because of William's envy, his jealousy towards Harry. That's why. Which clearly has not stopped even to this day. It continues, my family. It continues. William keeps on being jealous and envious of his brother Harry. I mean, my family, you don't have to look even farther than what happened when Harry went to the UK for the Well Child Awards. William took a break from his vacation to do an engagement on the same day that Harry was coming to the UK for the Well Child Awards. On the same day, on the same day that Harry was coming to the UK for the Well Child Awards, William acted like, you know what? Today, I'm doing an engagement. On the same day that Harry arrived in the UK. Even different media outlets pointed that out. You know, that showed that William continues to be jealous and envious of Harry, even if Harry lives in the US. My family, even if Harry lives in the US, still William continues to be envious and jealous of Harry. And the only thing, and I say this with sadness, that William will accept is seeing his brother Harry as miserable as Margaret was. Miserable, unhappy, and forced to lose or give up the person, you know, he loves. Just like Margaret was forced to give up the man she loved and she was miserable for the rest of her life. My family, she was miserable. She was unhappy. Even Harry dedicated, you know, some part in his memoir to talk about Margaret, of her misery, of her unhappiness. My family, to speak about Margaret. Well, guess what? That's exactly how they wanted to see Harry despair. As miserable as Margaret was. My family, that's how they wanted to see Prince Harry. That's how William still wants to see Prince Harry. Because he believes in his mind. He's been told by courtiers, by the press even, the only way he can stand on his feet is if Harry is on his knees. And right now, despite more than a family, years of attacks, so many years of, you know, trashing, you know, smearing Harry and Meghan, despite all these years of all that, my family, still, Harry and Meghan are widely loved, respected, and admired. 
And sadly, that's why this mega campaign keeps on, you know, proceeding. Because the farm and UK media have not been able to fully destroy, to fully destroy Harry's reputation. That's why they continue with this mega paper family. And the problem has always been Prince William. My family, the problem has always been Prince William. Prince Harry was never ever supposed to escape the Gilded Kimmy family. He was supposed, my family, be miserable within the Gilded Cage. That is what they wanted for Prince Harry. To be miserable. And they still want that for him. They still want that for Prince Harry. For him to be miserable, my family. That's what they want for Harry. They don't want him thriving, you know, making money, paying his bills, you know, living in a, in a mansion in California, in Montecito. They don't want that. That's why UK Media are speaking to people who have never ever met Harry Meghan, you know, calling and asking them, hey, should Harry be returned to the UK? Should he? My family. Yet Harry, my family, has said America is a great place to live. But my family, they have never ever wanted to see Harry thriving outside of the gilded cage. No wonder they're trying so hard even to try and get him back by force by trying to deport him from the US back to the UK. That's how desperate they are to have Harry back inside the gilded cage, my family. They can't start thinking him earning money, paying his bills, you know, living in a mansion in California. That was not supposed to be Harry's life. Harry's life was supposed to be like, you know, Margaret, one of misery. My family, let me show you an example of what they're calling for. Let me show you an example of what they're asking. Because my family, sometimes when you see something, you can be able to believe, you know, the things they're hoping would happen. They are desperate for Harry to be back inside the gilded cage so that they can exploit him, so that they can have access to him. My family, please kindly look at this. Please kindly hear this, my family. Please. Meghan and Harry make a lot of headlines in the United States and back here at home. Would you like us to take Harry back so you can have a quiet Please, life? please take them back. Yeah, you know, Americans, Americans love. My family, I want you to please kindly be able to hear that my family. You know, in fact, even right now they're calling it GB News America. Because they are speaking to Americans and they're asking them what Harry Megan. Harry Megan don't get many headlines in America. You don't see CBS, my family, news, having segments asking about Harry Megan. Or calling for Harry Megan to be sent back to the UK. Actually, this person is asking for Harry to return to the UK. His name is Mark Dolan of GB Propaganda. And apparently, right now, they are trying to, get, to gain some kind of foothold in America. And as I have always said, really, they are trying to create the kind of toxic environment, atmosphere in America for Harry Megan, like they did in the UK. And my family is wrong. First of all, headlines in America aren't focusing on Harry Meghan. It is the UK press. It is them. It is them who right now are calling themselves GB News America. Speaking to Americans, asking them about Harry Meghan. Calling for Harry to be returned to the UK because they are so desperate. Because they never ex ex you know, expected Harry to leave. The UK, the abuse of Meghan was meant to make Meghan, only Meghan, leave, but not Harry. And now they are left with dull, boring, lazy royals. Right now, there are no role stories in my family. There are no role stories. And they are desperate to have Harry back because they want drama. They want stories. My family, because my family, they have realized that they kissed away the goose that laid the golden eggs and are desperate to have him back. But guess what? Harry ain't coming back. 
to be William's scapegoat, to wine or dine with the racist UK tabloid press. My family, Harry is coming back to be William's third wheel, William and Kate's third wheel, following them around. My family, while well, UK media have their photographers taking pictures of them, Oh, look, you know, they're back. Harry's back being, you know, William and Kate's third wheel. Harry's back in the raw fold. My family, they continue with their aims to ruin Harry and Meghan's real relationship, hoping that Harry will come back. You know, I showed you that my family because I wanted to see exactly what's happening behind the scenes, what they're calling for to happen. What well, they're hoping would happen, that Harry returns. They're desperate to have him. It's been more than three years after Harry fled Britain. And right now, UK media are more desperate than ever to have Harry back. Because what they are left with in the UK is dull, boring, lazy, cruel, my family. And guess what? They created a toxic environment for Megan in the UK. They will not create a Toxic atmosphere, environment for Harry and Meghan and their kids in the US. Now, the good thing is that CBS News or ABC News, my family, American media outlets, won't dedicate their time to my family harassing Harry and Meghan like what UK media normally does. Right now, even they want to cross borders to go harass Harry and Meghan in America. To create the same toxic environment they did for Harry Meghan in the UK, in America. My family, they will not succeed. They will not succeed one bit, my family. They will not. They will not. And also, they won't be able to chase Harry Meghan away from their sanctuary, their safe place. As Harry said, my family, his family feels safe in the US. I want to even show you that, that video of my family once again of what Harry himself said my family, of how his family feels safe in the US, my family. You know, I find Harry's words, you know, being very, very important. My family, please kindly hear what Prince Harry said. The safety of my family is my priority, right? right? And that is the main reason that we left. Unfortunately, the circumstances back there hasn't changed. In fact, it's only got worse. Um... I feel safe here. My family feels safe here. Um, I'm happy. My family's happy. It's My family, UK media, will not create a toxic environment for Harry and Meghan in the US like they did in the UK that made Harry flee Britain, taking his wife and son and family. They won't do that to Harry and Meghan in the US. They will not. And we need to keep calling them out we need to keep telling the world exactly what is going on, my family, right now with this harassment, this hounding of Harry Meghan, who just are trying to live their lives in peace. But UK media and the farm won't let them. They keep hounding them. They keep harassing them, my family. We must keep demanding this hounding of Harry Meghan ends. And my family, it will end. Make no mistake, it will end, my family. It will end. My family, William and Charles, are behind this constant attacks of Prince Harry and Meghan. They are behind this constant attacks of Harry and Meghan. My family also, I want you to be able to hear this, my family. Please kindly hear this, my family. But I think there is an acknowledgement that, that he's not quite the warm and fuzzy character that maybe some of the people lining up in the streets think he is. For all of his easygoing facade, uh, Prince William is obviously a very controlling character. Prince William is a very, very controlling character. He's a very controlling character. He never ever wanted to be a junior to Prince Harry. He even, when going to physically assault Harry, my family, he tried so hard to turn Harry against Meghan. And when he failed, what did he do? He physically attacked and assaulted Prince Harry. Because Harry would not show deference to him. Because Harry, my family, would not accept William's orders and just follow them. My family. You know? 
Harry even told us that when he tried to speak to Prince William, clearly you could not reason with him as he was laying, uh, laying down the law, my family. He, William, was laying down the law. He had come to lay down the law to Prince Harry or while trying to turn Harry against Meghan based on lies that he himself was spreading about Meghan, calling her difficult, rude, abrasive. Yeah, my family, he was the one who was rude, difficult, and my family abusive towards the woman that Harry loves my family. You know, in Harry's memoir spare, Harry even tells us that Meghan had some vile things William was saying to Harry about Meghan in a phone call and that made Meghan cry. And Meghan was pregnant at the time. So my family, I don't know how Prince Harry can possibly ever find a way to reason with that kind of a person. You know, because William is full of hatred inside of his heart towards Harry. So my family, I don't see how you can even reason with that kind of a person. I don't see that even one bit by family. My family, I'll go back to Harry's most pair on what Prince Harry himself had in my family about William becoming his in subordinate my family. My family, please kindly hear this, what Harry said in his memoir, Spare, on William becoming his junior at the military. Please kindly, my family, hear this. And I quote, It was not official. I was no longer Prince Harry. I was second lieutenant Wales of the Blues and Royals. The second oldest regiment of the British Army. Part of the household cavalry, bodyguards to the monarch. The passing out, as they called it, took place on April 12, 2006. On hand were Pa and Camilla, Grandpa, Tiggy, and Marco, and of course, Granny. She had not attended a passing out parade for decades, so her appearance was a dazzling honor. She smiled for all to see as I marched past. And Willie saluted. He was at Sandhurst too now, a fellow cadet. He had started after me because he'd gone to university first. He could not resort to his typical attitude when we were sharing an institution could not pretend not to know me or he'd be in subordinate for one big moment spare outranked the air for one brief moment the spare outranked the air in the military my family for one brief moment the spare outranked the air in the military. And my family, years later, or should I say decades later, my family, after Harry Meghan stepped back a senior member's royal family, don't forget what happened just a couple of months ago, back in August, whereby it was announced that Prince William became the Colonel in Chief of Prince Harry's former army unit in royal military titles reshuffling my family. I just remember the video you just saw about William and Harry and that rabbit when they were just young kids. Whereby Prince William had no interest in that rabbit. But until Diana gave it to Harry, then he said, can I have it? Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Can I hold it? My family, Harry was the colonel in chief 
But then, look now. The title William was given was that which belonged to Prince Harry. Whatever Harry has, William will always want to claim for himself. Always. Will always want to claim for himself. And he wants Harry to know he can take it. Whenever he wants. My family, that is what William wants Harry to know. Please kindly also don't forget this. That my family, when Harry and Meghan and Archie and Lily were being stripped of their only home in the UK. When Charles was getting backlash for evicting Harry, Meghan and their kids from their only UK home, from a cottage, the palace leaked to the media that is because William made an inquiry about Promo Cottage being his fifth play, his fifth home my family. He wanted a small cottage that Harry and Meghan called home. Because constantly he wants Harry to know whatever Harry has, William will always want it. Whatever Harry has, William will always want it. Everything. Because he's so full of envy. Towards Harry. So my family. The main question. Of this video is. How. Do William and Harry. Mend the rift. How does that happen. My family. Is it even possible. For Harry and William. To mend the rift. My family. I say to you today my family. I say to all of you today. It is possible. It is possible. For Harry and William to mend the rift. My family, there is a catch. Prince Harry must be on his knees. As Carnival of so called Elfers like to see my family, they want to see Harry back with a tail between his legs, a failure with his marriage destroyed. That is how. Harry and William mend the rift. When Harry, his reputation, his marriage, his happiness is destroyed. That's how Harry and William will be able to mend the rift. When William sees Harry on his knees, destroyed. My family. And guess what? Everything, it means that it ain't good for Prince Harry. Healing the river family, healing the river is not possible for Harry and William if Harry is thriving in America, if Harry is making money in America, if Harry is happy in America, the rift cannot be healed. Unless Harry is miserable, unless Harry is unhappy, and that is why I call Harry, and I've always called him the secondary target, my family, the secondary target. That's why I call him the secondary target. My family, you destroy his marriage, then my family, as a kind of ripple effect, you destroy Harry in the process. That's why I call Harry the secondary target. My family, for those who want to know how this rift can be healed, it can only be healed if Harry is destroyed. And I believe you'll also agree with me as the only way. That's the only way. My eyes can only see that way. As the only way. Because William wants Harry on his knees. That's how William wants to see Prince Harry, my family. Destroyed. Whatever Harry has, William wants my family. Always. It's always been like that. And it will always be like that, my family. So what does Harry do? In my opinion, in my honest opinion, Prince Harry must forget trying to heal this rift with William and Charles. They don't want to heal any rift with Harry as they see Harry thriving in California. As they see Harry happy, having a mansion in California. They want Harry dependent on them for money. They want control over Harry. My family, so what Harry 
must do is focus on what he has only his family his family with megan archie and also lilibet their family and keep and maintain his distance from those who seek to destroy him my family because if he does not do that he himself will be destroyed by those who seek to destroy him my family william charles kate and camilla my family Tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed kindly. I want to please kindly hear your opinion, family. Because my family, I don't see Harry and William healing this rift. But my family, Harry is a married man. Harry being a, you know, father who is responsible. Harry being a husband who loves his wife and family. I don't see this rift being healed. You know, I just don't see my family. They'll never ever take Harry back with his family, with Megan, Archie, Lilibet. They want Harry back alone. Even you've had Mark Dolan. He says, can you, can you have Harry back? Can we have Harry back? Would you like to bring Harry back to the UK? Because that is what they want. Harry alone, my family. That's the goal. Harry alone. So my family, Harry, must just focus on his own family, Megan, Archie, and Lilibet. My family, focus on them. Protect his love. Fight for his love, always and forever. Protect his family, Megan, Archie, and also Lilibet and family. And basically, keep his distance from William and Charles. Because if he does not do them, do them a family, he himself will end up being destroyed. My family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you. Always and forever. You've heard what has been said. William is a very controlling person. There's no way he ever, you know, has Harry around him and he can't control him. There's no way. There's no way. My family, there's no way. So my family... Harry must focus on his family. Megan Archie Lil Badana. That is his family, my family. That is his family. And must keep his distance from those who seek to destroy him. Otherwise, they, Charles and William, Kate Camilla, and their tabloid friends will be the ones who destroy Prince Harry. My family, and I hope that that never happens. I hope that they never ever destroy either Harry. Or Megan. I hope they never ever succeed my family in doing that my family. And so my family as I end this video. May no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, Libedana and Doria Faglan ever plus one. Stay tuned for our next video. Love you also forever. Hello members of the Family TV. First of all I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.